taught at Red Line High School and Shippensburg State Teachers College in Pennsylvania. Middletown High School, we won't hold that against him here. <laughs> <laughs> he learned his lesson and then taught at Walkersville High School and Frederick Community College. From 1968 to 1976, he served in town government. First from 68 to 72, two terms as a commissioner. And then 72 to 76, he served two terms as Burgess. Back then the terms were two years. And at that time he was the 11th individual to serve as a Walkersville Burgess. He also was the supervisor and assistant manager at Southern States, Frederick Petroleum Service. He was a part-time special projects administrator for our town from 1998 to 2000 and continued to serve the town as an election worker through 2005. He moved to Walkersville in 1959, was very active in the Walkersville United Methodist Church, a choir member, he enjoyed playing the baritone in high school, in the Army Band, in college, in the American Legion Band throughout the Harrisburg area. He also was a member of the Walkersville Volunteer Fire Company, the Walkersville Volunteer Rescue Company, the Woodsboro American Legion Post 282, and Walkersville Senior Citizens. He had three daughters, Nita, Tina, and Ruby, and one son, Brad. Some of the town employees, which will also let anybody that would like to say a few other words here in a minute, please feel free. But some of the notes that some of the town individuals that worked with him wrote about Richard. He was a meticulous record keeper. He documented all things the town of Walkersville. We have file cards where you can go and he took from the minutes, obviously, back in the day where you couldn't Google search or go through a computer and try to find a word. He had it on three by five cards and they still come in handy enjoyed simple pleasures like having fried potatoes for dinner. He took the town of Walkersville very seriously. My understanding is if you were in the bathroom and a message came for you, that message was slipped under the bathroom door <laughs> while you were in there. He wanted to make sure people knew what was going on. He was a very kind and gentle person. He stood up for what's right and underdogs. And again, at this point in time, if anybody else that worked with him or knew him would like to say a few words, he certainly Welcome the opportunity. I, I will. Richard was a great friend of mine. He was my typing teacher in, in, <laughs> in high school. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, Chad, he was very proud to be a veteran. And one thing, Debbie had him in school too, but at least two or three times during school year, he would recite Flanders Field. Poppy's <laughs> Grove. That was his favorite point. Good friend. We went to church together. We sang choir together. We vacationed together. Where we went for um, vacation, Tenwood Beach. The place sold liquor. Of course, we didn't drink, but they sold ice. So we went in and got liquor ice. <laughs> it was so hot and no air conditioning, we'd, we'd suck on the liquor ice. <laughs> but it wasn't liquor, it was just a sign. Dying liquor ice. <laughs> he was a, a wonderful person to work with. Um, he was just, just very calm, a calming influence on the office. And I'm just delighted that this day has finally come. I also want to thank Sheets. They work this again, as you might have known, was supposed to be built by a part of an annexation, but that never came through. Uh, we obviously wanted to do this out of safety reasons so that eventually we hope that Fountain Rock can be right turn in, right turn in, and right turn out only, and people will utilize the traffic light for safety reasons. So Sheets, which also has this piece of property behind you, helped to make sure that we were, had the funds to get this done. So again, on behalf of the town, we want to thank the Sheets Corporation for, for working with us. So if um, Richard's kids can come forward, Brad and Tina and Ruby. Oh, Ruby. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> and if you'll stand on this side of the room. Here, Tina, you want me to hold your part?
artificial cutting to open up this road. officials and then one of the whole group so again we can have all this to document all the people that came and out. And then so if you have a little bit of champagne if anybody would like to raise a glass. I know you don't drink. Don, 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 Don. Don. You can make it to me. Hey John. Everybody say, Richard Wynn! Richard Wynn! Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Good. Uh, let's do another one just, just for safety. Mary Ann can more. Why don't you all get Bob. in this one, Ross and Mary Ann? So we can uh, that's all right. Ready? Here we go. Oh, oh, Mary Ann? Oh, Mary Ann's in now. Yeah. <laughs> Mary Ann, I'm not. If you be that much up here, get in there. Let's see ya. Uh, all right. Geez. Jeez! <laughs> 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 